evaluating algebraic formula. First we're going to do this with non without a calculator and then with a calculator. Things we have to remember when evaluating a formula like this without a calculator are mainly the squares of negative numbers. So when we've got u squared, we've got minus 1 squared. All squared numbers are positive, so minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. v squared, which is minus 3 squared, is minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9. So we end up with 1 plus 9 over 2 lots of a, which is 8. So that's 10 over 8, or 5 over 4. You can change that to decimal if you must, which is 1.25, but I prefer to leave it as a fraction. Next one, uh, a common error that occurs here with the kt squared is, is, is thinking there's a bracket around the k and the t and doing that before you square. If there is no bracket, then you must, you must square before you times the rules of operations means you must square before you times so we end up with u which is 10 times t which is 2 plus 5 times t squared which is 2 times 2 so we've got 20 plus at uh, 5 times 2 which is 10 times 2 which is 20 so the answer is 40 uh, with the square root we just got to be careful to make sure we to the bit inside the square root first, so we've got 32 divided by 8 which is 4 so we've got 2 pi times the square root of 32 over 8 which is 4, which is just square root of 4 so we end up, square root of 4 is 2 um, so we've got 2 lots of 2 pi which is 4 pi and we don't need to evaluate pi um, especially if we don't have a calculator. With a calculator especially if you've got a, uh, a, a fairly modern calculator, especially these Casios, you can type the expression virtually as it looks. The only thing you've got to be careful with is negative numbers, squaring negative numbers. Let's just show you what happens if I put minus 1 squared. Now minus 1 squared is 1, but if we do minus 1 squared, it does minus 1 because it's squaring before it's doing a negative. So to force it to do minus 1 squared, we've got to do the minus 1 in a bracket and then square it, and that gives the proper answer, which is 1. So when we're typing this in, fraction for the, to get the fraction, then open bracket, minus 1 squared, plus open bracket, minus 3 squared. Go down to the bottom of the fraction. And we've got 2 times 4. And that gives us 5 over 4 as we had before, or 1.25. The second one with the calculator, um, we can just type this exactly how it looks. Um, the only time you would have to be careful is with the t squared if the t was a negative number, which is not in this case. So we've got 10 times t which is 2 plus k which is 5 times 2 squared. Now the calculator knows it's got a square before it times so it'll give the answer of 40 as well. And then the last one, how do we type that in? 2 shift there to get the little pi button um, square root first then the fraction L is 32 bottom of the fraction is 8, press equals, it tells you the answer is 4 pi. If we do want the decimal, we can press that button to get the decimal. We'll put it back to, to a 4 pi.